Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyron, and welcome to another Billy Hatchet tutorial video. Um, this video will be covering um, Giant Palace Mission 1, which is the final level of the game. But we will be covering just the level in this one part because there's a lot to cover, and I feel like adding that on top of the boss will just be a very long video. I'd rather just cut this into two parts. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to run through the level, and then I will do a more detailed breakdown of that level afterwards. Pretty simple. Pog Champ. Um, this level starts with quite a intimidating trick, I would say, um, but the rest of the level is pretty simple after that. Um, I like to run through kill this cat. Uh, as you can see, that cat is facing us, so we can run immediately. Once its arms are fully extended, we can do this clip poggers, and that's the big skip at the start. There's a lot that goes into that, and it's definitely one of the hardest tricks to game. Then you want to do a quick kill on those dinos like that. And we've got double pineapples, so we're going to pick up two pineapples, like so. Put it right there. Um, I will also be explaining how fruit RNG works in this level and what you need to know um, in order to do power skip. And that was a beautiful power skip. I'm going to dash along this wall. Also, yeah, there, I will post a flowchart in the um, description that explains basically every fruit combination. That you need to know. Also, an IGU just to show off how cool I am. That can be a bit of a scary jump. There's a. I'll show an alternative off if you don't want to go for that. Uh, but yeah, that's the level. I was meant to dash cancel there, not jump back or like roll back like I just did there. Well, whatever. Now, here's the detail breakdown. Okay, so here comes the detailed breakdown of the level. Cuckoo doo doo doo, cuckoo doo doo, because Shep in my chat really wants egg puns, and I don't really know any egg puns right now. Um, I, I, I'm trying to think of some, but I can't. Just walk forward, basically, uh, and grab this egg. Now, this next trick is kind of complicated, so I'm going to try and explain it as best I can. We're going to ignore this cat, because this cat is pointless, and we can basically just kill these two cats off. Right now, we can see that these two cats are facing away from Billy, um, which means this pattern's going to be a bit more difficult to perform this clip. If you don't know how to perform a the basics of performing clips as it is, go watch my KBC video. I'll link it in the description because um, there's a lot to explain with clipping, but like there's a lot of stuff that just passes over onto other clips. I'll just explain how to set this up. So I'm going to use a lot of terminology like soft jumping and things. So as you can see right now, the cat's facing away from us. We kind of have to wait for the cats to notice us. Now, so they'll notice, they'll, like, you'll hear a ding and then they'll turn around. Once we start heading towards you, you just want to come over here, do a U-turn, wait, and then once their arms are fully extended in the air, jump back into the wall and hold A to driver. You need to soft jump into the wall as well so you hold through, and you'll clip through like so. Um, that's basically like the first pattern. I'll try and see if I can get a pattern where they face you just to show you what you need to do there. One thing I should have probably stated um, or explained was that this trick is very like quick you have to set up everything very quickly it's like a race against the clock to get position correctly and to do the clip um so yeah that time that cat faced the camera so i had to kind of like move quickly and also yeah make sure like you don't attract the cat too early like so or something like that will happen if you don't kill the cat it's fine but this cat right now is being a bit of a dickhead i don't think he's gonna be any help also make sure you don't kill the cats because it's very difficult to do this trick if you kill the cats mainly because that's something to clip off <laughs> Funny, lol, XD, but let's um, keep going. I feel like showing off a failed attempt just to go to show how difficult this trick can be. And will hopefully deter newer runners from going for it straight away and going for the safer route, which I'll explain later. So yeah, these cats were immediately attracted to us. Cool. So we clip through. There's one more thing I should explain with this trick, and I'm just going to come out of the wall and... Can you go away? I don't, I don't need you right now. Um, so I like... This wall is very weird champ. Weird champ is the word to describe this wall, I think. Um, there are places where you'll like hold against the wall and you'll feel like, yes, I clipped. And then you'll just be like here because the cat didn't clip you through. The cat clip is actually very difficult. I find that I get very consistent clips if I was to line myself up under this line that's just on top of Billy's head. And... And then, like, driver on this little, like, little rectangle that's above the moss. 
whilst I still jump into the water. That usually clips me through. So I'd recommend just clipping here. Or begin your driver there. And that'll get you through the wall most times. And I think that's everything you need to know about the cat clip. Um, it is a difficult trick. Just if the cats are facing away. I like to sort of just walk around here until they start to follow you. Then you are dash away, dash cancel. Turn around and drive it there. Uh, I also should show off something that can happen as well. Which is really frustrating if this happens. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next part of the tutorial. Uh, yeah, you can actually just like try set up like this. And as you see, like I'm trying to get set up. And then, yeah, the cats didn't follow me. That's because I moved too fast. That's why I dash cancel. I dash cancel and then like start to walk most of the way because at that point I've got enough distance to um, set up correctly. Because that's another thing, you don't want to be too slow either. Because if you're too slow, then something like this will happen. And this is also one of the worst things that can happen. In fact, this is even worse than if you're too fast. It, it, like, it gets very messy, like getting set up is horrible. Sometimes the cats will come around to you when you try to drive it and you'll kill them and it's... Yeah. It's not great, it's very hard to show off. Especially like when you become so like adept at the trick. But that's fine. Um, so, basically, after you clip through the wall, um, you're going to end up by that white rabbish egg. But here's what you want to do if you don't want to do a cat clip. You're going to kill these two cats here. And then kill these two. It's a bit easier if they're facing you because they just sort of come towards you. And then you want to grab enough fruit to max out your egg like so. I don't know why I'm executing that. And they just want to run through all these enemies like so to open up the gate. And then you just run through here like so. And you're where you would be with the rubbish egg. Cool. So before like we show what to do with the big egg like we had in the previous example, we'll go with if you have no egg. So we're gonna grab this rubbish egg, we're gonna jump and roll over this gap like so. We're then gonna bounce on this line here to give us a good spacing to get on this wall. We're then going to mow through these two dinosaurs and pick up the pineapple. So we got watermelons and pineapples. Um, so Basically, all you need to know about doing this skip is you need the rabbish egg to be bigger than the comb egg, or the same size. And to do that, you just need to understand what each egg likes as a preference. The rabbish egg has four preferences for fruit, which are watermelons, melons, pineapples, and strawberries. The comb egg only has one, which is strawberries. So if you get... So if you see strawberries, you always want to pick it up because you always want your... Co you always want the rabbish egg to be bigger than the comb egg. In this scenario, we got two fruits that are favourable for the rabbish egg, so we can just pick up any, any of the two. And this will max out your rabbish egg. And then we'll leave the last two fruits for the comb egg. You also want to be careful not to make sure the diner doesn't drop fruit near this pedestal, because sometimes fruit can become unobtainable. So, at the end of the video, I'll explain where to set everything up more detailedly. But this is my favourite pattern, which is the full egg, mid-sized egg combo. So where I like to place my egg is, you see this big square that Billy's standing on. I like to make sure the left of the shadow of the egg is, you know, basically on the left edge of that square. And that's all you need to know for that part. But now that we've got the egg set up, we're going to quickly go grab the comb egg. Before that fruit despawns. I got to be quick. Okay, we got it just in time. <laughs> I was too long explaining. So yeah, with that imprecision, we then want to have a straight camera. And then we want to go over the pedestal like so. Hold into the pedestal and then sort of just hold back. And then sort of like to the right. It's a bit weird the directions you hold, but it gets you up on the wall every time. Uh, go for it one more time. So with a giant egg and a mid-sized egg, you want it to be spaced like so. You can kind of just see where like the left of the shadow is lined up on that square. So I like hold back, then I hold up right when I sort the camera starts to spin. That's all you need to know to get up on this wall. Um, from this point on, I will actually add some different positionings for different egg combos, so you kind of get an idea. There's basically three egg combos you need to know, which is two full, one small, one large, in case you make a mistake, and then this common one, which is the 
Yeah, it's this one. In fact, there's also a worst RNG pattern as well, which I believe is the same as the um, as one for one small. Um, so yeah, I didn't really explain what I was doing because I was talking, and I didn't realise. Yeah, just do two dash jumps over there. It's pretty straightforward. And after this dash jump, you'll be rolling down here. You want to get up on this line here to attempt an IGU. Um, if you have a full egg, I'll explain something a little bit differently to what you want to do here. But essentially, you want to dash jump over here and egg bounce on the edge of that pillar like so, so you don't hit, get hit by the fire. Jump through these two blue hoops, and then that's that section done. Okay, so now let's record some other parts. Okay, so I'm going to just explain what happens if you get the worst RNG pattern, which is where both your eggs are unable to be full-sized, um, which is the three-quarter half-sized combo. Um, so for this is pretty simple. Um, you basically line up so that little square that's next to the giant square is touching... The left edge of that is touching the um, left edge of your shell of the egg, like so. Just pause the video if you need to see the spots, and I need to grab this fruit post taste. So yeah, it should look like this. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I do that. And you just want to perform palace skip as normal. Make sure that everything is in a nice consistent line, like so. And you'll perform the palace skip nice and like that. Say, if by chance you're playing like your everyday giant clam right now, uh, and you do something like this, oh no, I picked up all my fruit. Okay, so this is the setup that you need to do for that one. Yet again, similar to the worst RNG combo, Put the uh, left side of your shadow of the egg on the left edge of that little square. Right there, next to Billy. Like so. Just pause the video if you need to see it again. Um, and do so. And then you need to do power skip with the small egg. Now this is very precise to do and this may take me a few attempts even. But all you need to do is you just need to hold into the pedestal once you're into the right point. And even then that was like too far back, it's way harder to see, it's much more difficult, and I would never really recommend doing it with a small egg. But, like, like that, and then just for the power skip, just hold back the entire time. That's all you need to do, and you'll just get up. That shouts to Monkey for that one. That's a really helpful piece of advice. So, I'm gonna explain how to do power skip if you're doing the normie route. Um, usually with this, you'll always end up with two giant eggs. Um, you just wanna dash jump over there, and then you want to air egg roll over here, just because you need it on here. And you also want to be far enough away from the dinosaurs. Now, the spot that we put our egg is... Okay, I'm just going to go grab the comb egg before this fruit despawns, because we need all the fruit we can get for this. Um, I'm also... Yeah, I'm going to put a flowchart in the um, description that I made to help Clam learn the setups. But I'm also going to include a little diagram that just explains all the little fruit combos and what egg sizes equate to what, and just so you can tell by looking at the fruit. Um, essentially, I didn't really explain that in the normal ones, but if you see strawberries first, always pick it up, because we don't want the comb egg to be bigger than the other egg. So we like to line our egg up, so you see this square that Billy is standing on, that little square. I like to line up the top of the center of the shadow of the egg on that square like so. And then I like to just do what did last time, make sure we're all lined up. And big palace skip, woohoo, I always have... And that's basically it. But that's not everything, because I did say there was a strat you could do over here. Which is if you have a big egg, because you can't do the thing where you land on the edge without getting hit by the fire. This is discovered by Pedro, you want to land on the middle of this slide, and then just dash over here and dash jump. And by the time that despawns, you air... Well, it's an air roll, the fire should spawn and hasn't started the cycle yet, and you can just do it like that. Um, you would land on the middles just so that the um, fire is, you know, far enough away that it hasn't spawned yet, and you can just keep getting speed. That's all it is to get it working. There's one final strat I'm just going to show off right now. Okay, so the final thing you need to know is basically the safe strat to get over there. Um, and it's basically just dash jump into this green hoop like so, it's pretty straightforward. Um, air roll into here, poggers. Um, yeah, so if you fall off the tower, the movement's pretty simple as well. Uh, you just want to egg bounce and air roll into a roll jump like so. And then just continue to just make these rolls into the hoops like so. And continue like so. But with that, I think that's the end of this tutorial on Palace 1. I've been Kyrone. Um, 
Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, join the Discord at this in the description. And as I always say, if it doesn't work, the link is over at speedrun.com forward slash bh. Um, but so yeah, I've I've been Kyron. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Kyron, by the way. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.